Hello, hello. Okay, I'm already here. Hi, class. Let me see. There we go. Hi, hello, how are you? I'm fine, and you? You're fine, excellent. I'm I'm fine as well. Um ready. I'm ready with this class today. Okay, let's wait for your classmates. Damos un par de minutos para que se puedan unir. Here we go. Okay. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice asustar? Eh, scare. Scare? Uh, scare. Ah, okay. Why? <laughs> No, estábamos viendo que, no, pues, para saber la palabra, para cuando lo asusten a alguien. Ah, ah ok. So, ya yeah, that's the word. Bien, vamos, clases. Miren, look at this one. Hi, Josué. ¿Puedo ver a Josué ya? How are you, Josué? Hi, teacher. Hello. Empecemos siempre en el repaso. ¿Qué vimos ayer? Yesterday, we were practicing. ¿Qué tema estaban practicando ayer? What was the topic from yesterday? Who remembers about the topic? ¿Qué practicamos ayer? The last topic or? Yes, the last, the, the one from yesterday. The one from Comparative. yesterday. Comparative. Ayer fuimos con este tema. Este fue nuestro último ejercicio. Comparatives. Making comparatives or comparisons using adjectives. And we were introducing the topic for section number four. Ya estamos aquí. Miren, section number four. And the question that we have, it is about music. That is going to be the first question for section number four. Do you like rap? And the topic that we are going to be covering today, it's about yes, no, and WH questions we do. Saben que este es un repaso, creo que ya lo había mencionado antes, pero el pre-intermedio 1 es un repaso de todo lo que hemos visto en los módulos anteriores, en el basic, en el principiante 1, 2, ¿ok? Entonces, El tema que vamos a ver ahora, the same, ustedes ya lo han visto, vamos a reforzar contenido, es el simple present tense. Simple present tense, but in the interrogative form. Miren, vamos a hacer preguntas. Interrogative statements. Por eso es que nuestra sección 4 inicia con una pregunta. Do you like rap? And this is an example of the statements that we are going to create in this section. Yes, no. And WH questions with do. Cuando dice acá preguntas con do, nos referimos básicamente al auxiliar, auxiliary. In English, para hacer preguntas podemos hacerlas con las WH words. O también las podemos hacer con auxiliar. Do, does. A eso se refiere nuestro tema de ahora. How to make sentences, interrogative statements, using the auxiliary do and the auxiliary does. This is class number 10. And this is the pre-intermediate one course. Great job. Let me see. ¿Quién tengo ahora? Ya tengo a Gaby. Hi, Gaby. I can see a Denilson. Jorge. I can see him. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you today? I'm fine. You're fine? How's the weather? Yes. How's the weather, class? What can you tell me about the weather? 
it's rainy. It's but, rainy, uh -huh, but yes. it's rainy. Oh, the whole morning it has been raining. Do you like this weather? Do you like this weather? I don't like, I hate because uh -huh. the traffic is. Yes, right. It's heavy. Heavy. Muy heavy. Yeah. It's a traffic jam. Le llamamos así. Traffic jam. I don't know why, you know. The same for me. Sometimes in the morning when I need to go to work and it is raining, the traffic is heavy, you know. And I need to spend more than an hour in traffic. So I don't like it. You see? So... I agree with you, Jorge. Do you like, um, what else? ¿Qué más les pregunto? Do you like the weather? You say, I don't. I don't like the weather. Do you prefer winter or summer? What do you prefer? Winter or summer? What do you prefer? Winter or summer? Depend, but I prefer summer. But I prefer summer. Let's yeah. write this one. ¿Cuál fue mi primer pregunta? Do you? Do you like the weather? Me gusta el clima. Y como ahorita está lloviendo. You were mentioning no. I don't. Y luego les hice otra pregunta similar. What do you prefer? Summer or winter? And then you were giving me some options. No, I prefer summer. Si se fijan, ya utilizamos la estructura que es la que vamos a repasar ahora. Preguntas que inician con do y preguntas que inician con una wh word. Ven, ya conocemos la estructura. Así que vámonos. Let's go to the platform. Veamos cuál es el video inicial y repasemos. Let's review this topic. I know this is... Okay, here we go. Three, two, and one. At the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask questions in simple present using do and does along with WH question words. We will get ready to ask two types of questions, yes, no questions and WH questions. On your notes, please jot down both auxiliaries as we go over them. Remember, we use these auxiliaries for simple present tense in questions and negative answers. Okay, what she is expressing, maybe she's speaking a little bit, eh, it's not louder, right? Escucha bien bajo, soy solo yo que escucho bajo. No? Yes? Te escucha super bajo. Super Te bajo, bajo. Exactly. I don't listen her. We cannot hear, muy bien. Vamos a ocupar eso también ahora. What is she expressing that we need to take a look at the auxiliaries do and also the ones that start with the WH words. Los que inician con las WH words. Do, does, and do. And the examples that we have here are what, again, we have the same expression, and we have a different, that is who. Los auxiliares, oh, las palabras con WH. And she was mentioning that we are going to use the auxiliary do and does for interrogative statements and also for negative statements. Let me repeat the information. With the simple present tense, we are going to use auxiliaries for negative and interrogative 
statements. Recordemos eso. Para negativos, interrogativos, utilizamos auxiliar do or does. Let's continue with the video. Probably we can get some information from here. Yes, no, and WH questions with do. Okay. Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. What kind of music do you like? I like rock a lot. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. What does he play? He plays the guitar. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Okay, let's make a pause here. What are the differences or what do you notice? ¿Cuál es la diferencia que pueden notar between the first examples? ¿Qué diferencia notan entre esta y los segundos ejemplos? Esta. What is the difference? What can you see? What is different between those examples? Let me listen to you. The auxiliary verbs. Okay, number one is the auxiliary. Pero qué más ven de diferente? What else? En el segundo tiene respuesta corta en el primero. There we go. Excellent job. If you see, we can easily make a response o responder with the short form like this. Or we can also give extra information. Y ustedes dependen. Si pueden utilizar short form, like in the second example, does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Or you can also give extra information and make the answer complete. Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. If I ask you, can you make these ones? Podríamos convertir entonces la segunda en respuesta completa. How do we make it? Can you try? Let's make these short answers into complete sentences or complete answers. How do we make it? Let me see. Gaby, what is your opinion? ¿Cómo le hacemos respuesta larga? La segunda. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. Um, yes, he does. Uh, he, he likes to play the piano. Very good job. He likes to play the piano. I like it. Negative. How do we make this answer? complete. ¿Cómo le grabamos más información? Let me see Lorena. Can you try? No, he doesn't. ¿Qué más le podríamos agregar para hacerla completa? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. I like um, guitar. Ah, no, he doesn't. He likes to play guitar. Ok, I like it. Great idea. Me gusta mucho. Does he like to play the piano? No, he doesn't. He likes to play the guitar. Very good. Okay. Yes. Let's continue. Now we have some other examples here. Usually using, using the auxiliary do, but in this case we have the same examples, you see? Complete sentences, respuestas largas. No solo decimos yes and no. Let me see. Do they like the Beatles? Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Usually, or most of the time, if you see, when we give a negative statement, we don't make two sentences. We prefer to make a single statement. ¿Qué observaron acá? 
cuando hacemos negativos o respuestas negativas, ¿qué es lo más usual? ¿Hacer dos oraciones o dar la razón específica porque no nos gusta? What can you see? Look at the differences. En la afirmativa decimos, yes, I do. I like it a lot. Dos oraciones, misma idea. No, I don't like it very much. You see, we are making a single response. We are not making two sentences, just one. Do they like the Beatles? En afirmativo, tenemos dos oraciones, la misma idea. Yes, I do. They love them. But look at the negative one. No, they don't like them very much. También es posible hacerlo una sola oración como respuesta. That's it. Now, look at this one. What kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? With the WH words. ¿Podemos tener respuestas cortas con las WH words? Yes or no? What kind of music do you like? Yes. No. Is that possible in English? No. No, right? It's not. Of course, it's not possible. That's why in English, we need to have this type of questions in order to get extra information from people. What kind of music do you like? I don't know. People is the one who is going to tell me about the music they prefer. No sé la respuesta. Ese es el propósito de las WH questions. Obtener información que yo no sé. ¿Ok? Cuando usamos auxiliar, ahí creo que sí es un poco más obvia la respuesta. Puede ser un sí o un no. That's it. What does he play? Oh, he plays the guitar. Who do they like? They like you too, this band, okay? Who do they like? So that is the difference. And we also have the object pronouns. Let's listen about the object pronouns and when are we going to use them? Who do they like? They like you too. Object pronouns. Me. You. Him. Her. It. Us. Them. Did you notice both auxiliaries? Do and does? Do. Does. Okay, the auxiliary. Did you notice the changes that occurred when we used the auxiliary in a question for third person singular? Does he play the piano? If not, play the video again until you understand it. Keep in mind that whenever we use does, the verb goes back to its base form. Something I want you to understand is when the question being asked uses a WH question word, it means we need more information when answering. In this class, as already mentioned, we're talking about two kinds of questions. Check it out. Do you like Madonna? Yes, I do. No, I don't. What does she sing? She sings pop music. Okay, and let's go back to the same topic. Entonces, ¿cuáles son los object pronouns? Object pronouns. We are going to use object pronouns. For example, in this case, to replace the subject. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. En lugar de decir, yes, they love the Beatles, vamos a utilizar entonces la expresión, el pronombre, them, ellos. Los aman a ellos, ¿ok? They love them. But we have a practice for this one. So, hagamos la recapitulación. Repaso. ¿Cuáles son los dos tipos de preguntas que podemos hacer con el simple present tense? What are the two types of questions that we can make using the simple present tense. Uh -huh. 
question when you use auxiliary verbs. Okay, and? And uh, WH question. And WH question. WH question. Very good job. That's it. For what type of information or when am I going to use the WH words? When do I need to use WH words, statements, or questions? ¿Cuándo las necesito usar las WH questions? Cuando necesitamos eh, extra información. Exactly. When I need to get extra information. Information that I do not know. No la sé. Ocupo WH questions. ¿Y para cuándo ocupo eh, auxiliaries doing that? ¿Para qué ocasión? Para ¿sí? negativas e interrogativas. Uh -huh, exactly. Whenever a question has only two choices. Affirmative, negative. Cuando for una pregunta... Close ajá, question. Ajá, exactly. Le llamamos for short answers or close questions. ¿Por qué se llaman close questions? Yes. Because there we have the answer. Close questions. Ya tenemos las respuestas. Puede ser un Gracias, sí. Gracias, cumpleañera. Exactly, right? Ivania, ahí está. Ivania, pero she's paying close attention. Very good job. Eso es lo que quiero que les quede claro. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? ¿Cuándo las voy a usar? ¿Y por qué las necesito usar? ¿Ok? Para obtener extra información o para simplemente saber si es un sí o un no. That's it. Very good job. Let's go to the practice. Look at this one. What do we have here? Yesterday, I was asking you about this type of questions. ¿Se acuerdan de ese tipo de preguntas de ayer? Do you... These are yes. questions. Do you like this type of music? I love it. It's okay. I don't like it. Si se fijan, ya nos está indicando. It is indicating que van a ser respuestas cortas pero que las podemos convertir en largas porque tenemos información extra. Do you like pop music? Do you like pop music? Do you like pop music? This is my question. ¿Cómo sería mi respuesta completa? Digamos que sí me gusta. Yes. I do. ¿Cuál sería mi complemento? I love it or I don't like it. Or it's okay. I love it. I love it. Yes, I do. I love yes, it. I do. I love it. Y ya no es simplemente respuesta corta, sino que es una respuesta larga. Simplemente agrego un comentario extra. I'm adding an extra comment about my response. Now let's practice doing the same. I am going to ask you about the type of music that you prefer and you are going to give me a complete answer. You can tell me, yes, I do, in an extra comment or You can also say, no, I don't. I don't like it. No, I don't. I don't like it. ¿Cuánto puedo utilizar entonces? It's okay. Any idea? ¿Cuándo utilizo entonces mi expresión? It's okay. For yes or for no? For yes. Intermedio. ¿Cuál es el intermedio? Oh. Más o menos, menos Creo que, más. que le da igual. Ajá. Pero sería yes, I do, it's okay. Yes. O no, I don't, it's okay. What do you yes, think? I do. Yes, I do. It's okay. or... Tiene que ser también afirmativa. Yes, I do. But I don't really mind about it. 
it's okay. Ok, aquí voy con mis preguntas. Si ustedes eligen cualquiera de las tres. Here we go. Let me see. The first one that I have here, it's Eden Nilsson. Do you like classical music? Do you like classical music? Yes, I do. It's okay. Okay. Ivania, do you like hip hop music? Yes, I do. It's okay. It's okay, okay. Alberto, do you like rock music? Rap music? Rock, rock. Rock, ah, yes. yes I do, I love it. Oh, excellent. Gustavo, do you like jazz music? Yes, I do, I like music. Once again, can you repeat that please? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I love it, the music. I love yes, it, you know. Music. Pero lo escuchan convencido. Yes, I do, I love it. No, you, you need to <laughs> feel it, feel it. I do, I love it. Estamos diciendo que la amamos, okay? I love it, that's okay. Josué, do you like classical music? Yes, I do. I love it. Excellent. Carlos, do you like rock music? Yes, I do. I love it. You love it. Samuel, do you like pop music? Mm, yes, I do. I love it. I love it. Very good. Janira, do you like hip hop music? Hi, teacher. Uh, uh, no, I don't. I don't like it. Excellent. Rita, do you like jazz music? Yes, I do. It's okay. It's okay. Ellen Nilsson, do you like rock music? Hi, teacher. Hi. Um, yes, I do. Yes, I don't like. Uh -huh. Yes, I do. I love it. I love it. Okay, perfect. Yes, I do. I love it. Pregúntate cómo hacer una respuesta completa. Questions about how to make complete answers. ¿O estamos claros con eso? Yes, no. Questions about this exercise. Miss, for the negative, is possible. Say only, no, I don't like it. Muy bien. Veamos acá. Like this one. No, I don't like it. También se puede. Les explicaba en el ejemplo del video que lo más común es cuando expresamos algo negativo, simplemente decir el comentario final, no como dar doble idea o como un comentario extra. No, I don't like it. And that's it. Okay? Okay, okay thank you. Uh -huh. Para no hacerlo repetitivo. Si se fijan acá, dos veces estamos diciendo I don't. Y luego nuestra siguiente idea inicia negando también. I don't. So it's possible to say, no, I don't like it. En el caso de la afirmativa, como son expresiones diferentes, sí es aceptable dar doble comentario. Miren, yes, I do, I love it. Comentarios que no se parecen. En el negativo, no, I don't like it, it's okay. Or you can also say, no, I don't. Short question. Now, what do you need to do right now? You are going to ask your classmates about the types of TV shows they prefer. We are not talking about music. This time we are going to ask about the TV shows they prefer. And we have some categories, talk shows. Can you give me some examples about talk 
shows or very famous talk shows. ¿Cuáles son los talk shows? Entrevistas. No. Uh -huh. oh. Pero denme ejemplos específicos. Hay, hay algunos bien famosos, los talk shows. Eh, como la de Boss, Boss Kid. Uh, uh, mm. Factor X. No. No, esos son Cristina shows. Ajá. Cristina. Whenever they have some people, they come and they have a conversation. Aquí en el país tenemos bastante, pero siempre son dirigidos a política. So los talk shows. Pero. Milena, tu amiga. Milena, yeah, yeah, right. Milena, your friend. Case closed, teacher. Ah, ok, I like Case it. Case closed. <laughs> Ah, lo ves todos los días. Cerrado, <risa> con la doctora Polo. Ah, yo sí. Es que dice Ivania, no, 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 no lo recordaba. Cristina. No, I do. Sí. <risa> Laura, ¿qué pasa? Laura, exactly. That is a very famous talk show. Exactly. Esos son los famosos talk shows. Pero aquí en el país los enfocamos a, a Milena. Ok, ese es nuestra, el nivel de producción que tenemos. Reality shows, reality shows. Give me some examples about reality shows. Yes. Survivor. Exactly. Survivor is a very famous reality show. El it Big was. Brother. Big Brother, <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. That is a reality show. No se lo perdía, Jorge, Big Brother. You know, sí. we also have también este, la voz de Boys Kids, yo la estaba viendo, es un reality show. Los Super de... short. Exactly. Those are reality shows. Ya ven que conocen varios. Sitcoms. What is this? What are the meaning, or what is the meaning of sitcom? Sitcoms. ¿Qué será un sitcom? I don't know, teacher. Have you ever seen this very famous sitcom? ¿Ya han visto esto? Friends or the Big Bang Theory. Yes. Esos son sitcoms. ¿Por qué se le llama así? These are the type of programs in which we have different seasons. We can have season number one, season number two, temporada uno, temporada dos. But we always have the same cast or the same people working in the same episodes. Siempre van a ser los mismos personajes, los mismos actores y actrices, eh, dándole continuidad a una misma historia en diferentes temporadas. A eso se le llaman sitcoms. Es Creo como las series. Series, así de simple. Series, pero... Cuando, Teacher, yes, tell me. En esta de sitcoms también sería lo de las de un ejemplo de Walking Dead. Exactly, The Walking Dead ese es muy famoso también es otra sitcoms porque van por temporadas, temporadas y siempre van a volver a ver los mismos personajes o los personajes mm. principales no cambian. Esa es la idea yes. de un sitcom. And the very famous soap operas. Soap operas. Se pronuncia en una sola palabra. Soap operas. <laughs> Give me some examples about soap operas. Soap operas. Soap operas. Soap operas. <laughs> soap operas, class. Vamos a ver qué saben de novelas. Give me some examples about soap operas. Samuel. Oh, yes. very. Samuel sabe, sabe muchas. Guadalupe. Samuel Tabla. <laughs> Give me the examples, please. Samuel. Oh, no, right, Samuel, no, right? Yes, Ivan. Samuel. Ugly well, Betty. Okay, Ugly Betty. Pedro el Escamoso. Yeah, José, right. José, Ugly José, Betty. Pedro el Escamoso. Solo vi café con aroma de mujer. Ah, exactly. vaya. Yeah. Gaviota. Famous. El clon. El clon. Estamos todos viendo pasión de gavilanes. El clon, exactly. <laughs> Cuna de lobos. Okay. <laughs> you see, you already know. Y dijeron que no sabían. So poppers, those are very famous. And the last category that we have, game shows. ¿Cuáles serán esos? Game shows. 
game shows. Sábado gigante. Exactly. Ese es muy famoso. Estuvo al aire por muchos años. Game show. Prendidos de Canal ah, 2. <risa> Any other. No, no quiero el 4. Exacto. El juego de la boca. Un domingo para todos. Yes, right. Sí, el juego de la boca. Wow. Yes. Ok, so game show. Beso o tortazo. Ahora ya ven las diferencias. Ya sabemos. Muy bien, Clash. Sí, recordamos bastantes cosas. ¿Qué van a preguntar entonces? ¿Cómo haríamos la pregunta? Uh -huh. do, you, do you like tall chocs? Choc. ¿Qué ven de diferencia acá? Miren, plural, shows, reality shows, Show. sitcoms, no solo uno, so Varios. operas and game shows. ¿Por qué se los digo? Porque vamos a utilizar la expresión them, refiriéndonos a ellos. I love them, they are okay, I don't like them. Esas van a ser mis respuestas, afirmativas y negativas. Let's see. Veamos cómo nos va en este ejercicio. Here we go. Vamos a trabajar en grupos. Hagamos preguntas. Pueden Oops. ser singular o plural. No hay problema. Here we go. Si quieren ser específicos, digamos, hablando de un talk show o de una novela en específica, ahí usamos singular, pero si hablamos de la categoría en general, remember that we need to use the expression them, because we are talking about more than one example. Here we go. Is it clear what we are going to do? Yes or no? Está claro? The activities. Yes, Miss. Here we go. Let me send you the picture so you can practice with your classmates. And I do understand. Sé que algunos eh, están con cámara apagada, no hay problema. Pero por eso voy a poner grupos grandes para que entre todos nos ayudemos y que podamos desarrollar el ejercicio. Here we go. Traten de compartir pantalla, please. Try to share your screen. Okay, channel practice. Here we go. Practiquemos. Alguien que comparta la pantalla y empezamos con las preguntas. Please. Carlos, comparta la pantalla. Mm. Ya estoy desde el celular. No, yo no tengo. O sea, usted puede. No, no puedo. Okay, Ivani. don't worry. I can. Yo puedo. Gracias, mi. <laughs> you guys, come on. I need your practice. No hay excusas aquí, vamos. I can't. Vamos, empecemos. Carlos, pregúntele okay. a alguien de sus compañeros, please. Ivania, <laughs> do you then reality show? Uh, reality shows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. They're okay. Okay, Jose, do you like game show? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. ¿Y cuál sería nuestro complementario? 
I love them. Or they are okay. They are okay. Muy bien, excellent. Now, Josué, make two questions. Josué hace dos preguntas, una para Carlos and the other one for Ivania. Here we go. <laughs> Um, Carlos, uh, do you like uh, reality shows? I don't like them. Okay, excellent. Continue, Josué. Ivania, uh, do you like uh, um, sitcoms? Uh, yes. I love them. Very good. Now, Ivania, make your questions, please. Okay. Joshua, do you like hip hop music? Um, no, I don't. You don't like it? Okay. Carlos, do you like um game shows um, yes they are okay okay excellent now continue mm -hmm. practicing please i'm going to give you from two to three minutes so i can listen to your classmates continue okay. practicing please. okay 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 This. Ahí elijamos la re, el... uh, talk show, la primera, por ejemplo, digamos. Uh -huh. talk. Do you like talk shows? Porque dijo. No. Yeah, sí. Yeah, yeah. Caso cerrado. Oh, Ajá. Shows. <risa> <Sí>. No, pero. <risa> Esa o shows. otras. Voy a hacer. Do you like uh, talk shows? Uh, yes, yes. O sea, ese es como un general, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y uno específico. Entonces, la respuesta, ¿cómo sería? Por, por ejemplo, asumamos que está hablando de caso cerrado. Ah, sería, ¿do you like caso cerrado? Uh -huh. Yes, I like. No, I like. No, I don't. Entonces, el, eh, pero co cortas, entonces. No, o sea, uh, yes, I like. Uh, I love them. I love, I love it. Uh -huh. Estamos diciendo en popular. Entonces hagamos así, do you like, con, el, con ese ejemplo, con el caso cerrado. Vaya. Ajá. Y entonces ahora demos la respuesta. Sí. Uh, yes, I, yes, I, I like. I love, uh, yes, I I love I, it. Yes, I do. Do you like for shops? No, no, I don't. I don't like them. Um, yes, I do. Oh, no. Yes, I do. I love it. Ajá, o lo, o, o lo que nosotros querramos, ¿verdad? Ahí. Uh -huh. Yes, I do. I love it. I love it. Show me. Shows. Um, no, I don't. I don't, I don't like them. Ok. Yes. Yo les pregunto otra vez. Okay. Bye. Do you like, uh, Gaby, do you like uh, sitcoms? Uh, yes, I do. I love them. Uh, Sammy, do you like game shows? Uh, yes, I love them. Uh, Gaby, do you like reality shows? Reality, um, no. Yes, I do. There, I, there are. Okay. Sammy, do you like soup operas? Uh, no. No, I don't like them. Bye. <laughs> Ahora cambiemos. Now we change. Someone. Uh, do you like um, talk shows? Uh, yes, I love them. 
Okay. And Janina, do you like uh, game shows? No, I don't. Uh, I don't like them. And do you like our uh, sitcoms? Who? Uh, Sammy? Or uh, mine? Uh, yes. Um, they, they are okay. Okay. Finish. Yes, Very good job. Just yes. finish. Let's yes, go back teacher. then. Now, yeah. go back to the main room. Okay. There we go. Okay, time to come back. You know, it's about to rain again. The casa yo otra vez por acá. It's about to rain. What time is it? Ah, oh, we still have time. That's great. Okay. So if you see, we were practicing Singular and also plural nouns to ask questions with the auxiliaries do and does. Vamos a practicar cuando sus compañeros regresen. Here we go. Do and does. Or in this case, singular and plural. I was listening to some of you and you were doing a, a great usage of questions, la estaban haciendo muy bien. Questions in English, we do, and also using singular and plural. Vamos a ver, preguntemos las mismas categorías and then I'm going to add extra information. Lorena, do you like sitcoms? Do you Perdón. like sitcoms? Um, it, me dice, do you love, do you like, perdón? Sitcoms. Oh. Um, no, I don't. You don't, okay. Ah, esas son las series, perdón, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ay, sí. Okay. Eh, yes, I do. I love it. <laughs> ah, sería I love it o sería I love them. Chicos, pregunté por una en específico o la categoría en general. Yes, I love la categoría. Them. Ah, entonces sería. La categoría. Them. Them. Sí, me gustan ellos. O sea, en general. Them. Por eso es que ocupamos them. Cuando nos referimos a uno, por ejemplo, el tipo de música, ahí sí somos específicos. Pop music, rock music, classical music. We are being specific. That's why we are going to use it. Let me see. Okay. Carlos, do you like pupusas? <laughs> yes, I love. I love yeah. them. Look at his face, right? He's expressing that he really loves pupusas. Exactly, right? And then Nilsson, do you like tacos? Ede. Hola. Ede Nilsson, no, Ede, Ede, Ede Nilsson, do you ah. like tacos? Yes, I like. Well, give me the complete, or give me an extra comment, please. Um, pensándolo bien, no, <laughs> I don't like them. Really? You don't like them? Okay, interesting. Okay. Um, Gaby, do you like pepperoni pizza? Yes, I love it. <laughs> yes, I love it. Excellent. Samuel, do you like um ¿qué le pregunto? tacos as well? Tacos. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, I love tacos. Yes, I love tacos. Muy bien. Me están dando respuestas completas. Excellent job. Uh, Rita, 
Do you like going to the beach? Yes, yes, I do. Uh -huh. Give me uh, extra information. Uh, si estoy I... siendo específico, que voy a usar it or them. Do you like going to the uh, eat? Exactly. Yes, I love. Yes, I do. I love it. Very good. Yes, pero si en la respuesta es que no es que lo ama, sino que sí le gusta, es okay. I, I like it. I yes, like I it. do. Uh -huh. I like. I like it. Who loves going to the beach? ¿Quién me puede usar esa expresión? I love it. Who loves going to the beach? Me. Okay. So let me make you the question. Do you love going to the beach? Yes, teacher. I love going to the beach. Excellent. Ivania, do you like going to work? Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes, yes I, do. I do. I love, I love it. it. Do you like going to work? Yes, I do. I like this one, right? We need to, but we don't really like it, right? Or do you enjoy your job? Yes? Yes, <laughs> I enjoy it. Yeah, right, we do. In my case, I do, I love my job. So you see, we can have different type of conversation or different topics whenever um, using this type of questions with the auxiliary do, okay? Podemos hablar de cualquier tema, no solo de sitcoms or type of TV shows, music. We can also talk about different topics. Do, questions about this topic. Mañana vamos a hablar no solo con do. Vamos a agregarle el auxiliar does. To refer it or to talk about the third person. Not about my information, but about people's information, okay? Questions, comments? You still have some minutes so you can ask me. Comentarios, preguntas? Tenemos tiempo para responder, please. No? No questions, please. No questions? Bien, entonces. Terminamos con esta información. Let's finish with this information. What you need to remember about this type of questions is this information. Number one. Let me see. Ivania, can you help me out to read? Leamos la primera, please. Simple present questions, short answers. Okay. Use two. Plus base form for yes or no questions and short answers with I, you, we, they. Do I, you, we, they like rock? Yes. I, you, we, they do. No, I don't. <laughs> okay, exactly. So this is what we have been practicing today. The use of do auxiliary do. And we are going to use the auxiliary do with these subjects. I, you, we, and they. Don't forget about that. Please. Do I like rock? Do you like rock? Do we love or like rock? Do they like rock? It's the same information that we need to include for this type of subjects. El verbo no va a cambiar. ¿Por qué no cambia el verbo? ¿Se acuerdan? Porque tenemos un auxiliar. Y también porque con estos sujetos no cambia el verbo. And then we have this information. Leamos hasta acá abajo. Porque esta es la parte que vamos a ver mañana. All of these three is for tomorrow's class. But we can have this one, subject pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, 
we and they, they usually come before a verb. Okay. Siempre vienen antes de un verbo. I work, I play, they travel, they sleep. Vienen antes de un verbo. Esos, esos son los subject pronouns. Así los identificamos. Pero the object pronouns, me, you, him, her, it, us, and them, they usually come after a verb. No vienen antes, siempre vienen después de un verbo. He likes her, but she doesn't like him. So that is the difference. Los subject pronouns vienen antes del verbo y los object pronouns vienen después del de verbo. ¿Cuáles son los dos que ocupamos en nuestro ejercicio de ahora? Subject pronouns. ¿Cuáles son los dos que ocupamos nada más? Aquí están. It and them. It and them. Así de simple. It and them. It and them. Object and subject pronouns are very different. I love it. I don't like it. I love them. I don't like them. Si se fijan, vienen antes o después del verbo? Vienen después. después. Aquí está el verbo like y luego de eso viene la expresión. Here we have the verb love, and then we have the expression it. The same as here, we have the verb love, and after that we have them. I have the verb like, and after that I have the expression them. Okay? So, if we don't have any other questions, I'm just going to send this information to WhatsApp so you can read and you can practice because tomorrow we are going to have the similar topic, but with the third person. Preguntas, comentarios, or can we stop the class here? No questions, no comments. Bien, si no hay más preguntas, comentarios, chicos, yes. No questions. Buenas no, noches. Muy bien, vamos a seguir practicando con el mismo tema tomorrow. Thank you so much for coming. I really hope you to have a great afternoon class. Have a great day. Okay, have see you tomorrow, day. class. Thank you. Teacher. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a great day. Tomorrow. Bye bye. 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 Bye, teacher. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, teacher. You go. I'm going to stay here. Bye. Bye.